Hey guys, welcome back. Joe here again, scalefreak.com, coming to uh, to do a video blog for this week. Today is uh, December, no, November 23rd. Uh, thanks, it's another Sunday. I seem to love to do these things on Sunday. It's when I get a little bit of time throughout my day. Uh, if Bear's taking a nap, my wife's taking care of something in the house, I can sneak out to the studio, get some, uh, some recording done. I'm actually planning on getting a few videos done today, or at least two. I'm gonna try for two. Um, and then maybe we'll add the video blog, so that makes a few. So you'll see some stuff coming forward. Basically, what I'm gonna do some videos on today is winch stuff. Uh, you know, I showed you guys that last video, that TZI World winch, the, the big beef winch, that thing was nuts. But what you guys don't know is for the past little while, I've actually been collecting parts uh, and little accessories and stuff like that to be able to do almost like a winch series. Um, I watch a lot of real off-road stuff. I love watching the ultimate, uh, the ultimate adventure 4x4 stuff. Um, I love watching just like Moab Jeep stuff like that. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned that before. So I do like to, I love the idea of the winch. I love how versatile it can be. And I like how with something like a winch and the proper use of a winch, you can really go some places that you may not think you could get before, or you could be uh, you know, the friend to the crew and, and park your truck, anchor down, and get some people unstuck if, if that's the case that they get stuck. So kind of just a few things uh, that I have picked up over the last little while. Of course, you guys have seen the Tizzy World Beefy Winch. Or be, that, that's been a, a standard for a while. Of course, I do have the old school RC4WD uh, Bully Dog Winch. This thing has been around with me for years. Years! Um, I remember originally there was a discussion that these RC4WD, these older RC4WD winches, had problems with the motors, so they sent you a spare motor. Never had a problem with it. This thing's been submerged. This thing has been tortured. This thing has, uh, has been a major player in a, in a G6. And it's, it's, it's great, it's flawless. This thing is actually gonna spend some time in my toolbox waiting for a place to get remounted. Uh, but of course, I, I did wanna step up, and of course I do have the worn winch from RC4WD as well. So this is their newer winch. Uh, RC4WD sent this my way. I wanna get this thing on there. But I did wanna wait for something before I did that, which of course is one of the right bumper. I did want a new bumper set up for my Red Devil Recon, because this is gonna go on the Red Devil I did want to get a new bumper, and this was just actually released a couple weeks ago, and I just was doing the dirty, which was cruising around on the RC4WD site thinking, huh, I wonder what's there today, and found new stuff that I hadn't seen yet, so new bumper coming with the winch. Uh, and of course, just for display purposes, I, I, I will use uh, both on the wireless and the wired set up so that you can see kind of the different ways that this winch can be controlled. You never know what will work better for you. Of course, other stuff that I've been collecting for a while. I like the idea of the fair lead. Uh, I have a very specific purpose for this. Uh, this is actually the, the, the roller fair lead. I, I kind of like that setup. Uh, of course, this one here is brand new as well. Uh, recently come out. This is the foldable winch anchor from RC4WD. I just, again, accidentally stepped on that one on the site the other day. And I thought, oh, that's phenomenal. I already use the Pull Pal. I really do love the Pull Pal, but I wanted to have an alternative. I wanted to check out something different. So there's this new foldable one. Of course, the ARB Snatch Block. Uh, this is another product that I've seen a lot used in the real world, and I'm really looking forward to doing some video on this thing here. I actually talked to the ARB guys for a little bit and, uh, and learned some really neat tricks. And then I talked to the Pull Pal guys and learned some neat tricks with this as well. So there's some really neat stuff that you could you could make a lot of, uh, you could get a lot of people unstuck with a snatch block. This is kind of one of those little parts that would be a great addition to anyone's rig, but we'll talk about that later. Um, of course, the thimble. This guy here, a lot of people uh, look at this on the website and go, eh, eh, I don't know, I don't get it. Uh, but these have a very specific purpose, and again, I'll do a video on this and I'll talk about it. Something I've been looking forward to putting on my rig as well. I've just got a few. I'm not going to call them challenges, I just have a few questions I have to answer for myself before I do the video on that one to make sure that I'm going to be able to use it the way that I want to. Uh, of course, we will talk about different things like replacement lines. Uh, what's the right stuff to use? Is it, is it okay to use, a, that, like this one here is the RC4W synthetic rope, but I also have some alternatives that are pretty neat too, especially since Bass Pro Shop just opened here in Niagara. Uh, of course, different little things like the King Kong hooks. Uh, little guys like this, different uses, I'll talk about them later, uh, and of course the differences between things like 
the shackles that you can buy compared to the mini shackles that you can buy. So um, I've been running these shackles for a couple years now and I'll explain to you in a later video why I'm switching every shackle I have to a mini. That's all to come. Uh, I think that's it for parts on here right now. I mean, the Red Devil is sitting here. I'm actually getting this thing ready to do a, a video, maybe two, on it right now. Uh, all of my kits right now have some kind of project that's about to happen to it, of course. We talked a while ago about uh, the Tizzy Winch going on. I've got a new body that I have to paint up for the, the F-bomb. And of course, I got these light buckets in from uh, YSS Crawlers. Uh, right out of uh, Japan, I believe they came from. Is it, yeah, Japan. These are the light buckets for the F-250, right? So 3D printed, they go into here, there we go. They'll mount inside the body so that you can actually put two whites and an amber in there. You can kind of see how that goes in there. Uh, I'm still doing some testing as to exactly how I'm going to mount those, make sure that it fits exactly how I want them to fit. There are... Uh, I, I, I kind of want to do it without drilling any holes or anything like that, but there's not really a lot of ways to mount these things in. Plus, remember, I trim my body up quite a bit to make sure that it goes over wheel wells and stuff like that, so I may have to uh, play with these a little bit to make them work. What else was it over here? Um, of course, the Recon is going to get MIP'd for axles. I've been using the stock axles for a while now, but I'm telling you guys, as, 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 as okay built as these things are, they do not stand up against... Uh, three cell on a Tekken Rock 412, but they do their best. So I like the rocks. The rocks burn out center drive lines. So MIP it is. Oh, hold on one second. I'm back, back to back. And of course, some other new things you're going to see. CalRC Utter Butter. This just came in yesterday. I'm really excited about this stuff. Uh, I've been working with Heath for a long time. His products are amazing over at CalRC, so I'm really, really happy I, I was able to get some of this stuff in. And something else. Oh, I love this thing. I've been waiting for this to get my hands on one of these products since I was racing on road and I saw some guys with them. But CalRC has recently just released their own. I'm gonna open it up. I haven't even opened this box yet. I'm super, super stoked. Get it open here. It's like Christmas. Hey, hey, there it is. The Cal RC Jet Blaster. So I'm super pumped about this thing. I've seen what this can do. I could probably uh, use this as a leaf blower. I, I know exactly how much pressure this little canister has. I've seen this thing used in a lot of on-road situations and I'm gonna be using this from here on out just to keep my garage clean uh, and my kits clean, right? So I'll do a video on this as well. I'm really, really happy to finally get a product like this. Um, again, Heath is the king of after uh, or of, uh, of RC care. So I'm really, really super happy that I was able to get this in. So awesome to Heath for doing that. I'll talk about the rest of the stuff that's in the box. There's some attachments and stuff like that, but that's for a different video. I'm going to try to do it while the snow's off the ground so I can actually literally go blow the leaves out of my yard. So really, that's I guess that's kind of really all I have for the... the uh, sorry, let's do one thing at a time. One, about all I have for the video blog today, I did want to show you some of the stuff that I have coming up. Uh, my workbench from one side to the other is absolute chaos right now. It's a complete and utter mess. And I really have to get out here and spend some time to clean it up before I really dig into too many projects. Um, I, <laughs> I have lost a lot of parts lately. I'm also gonna discuss that in a later video as well as different ways that you can, you can start a project, walk away from it for two months, and still have parts laying around. So I actually, before this video, was trying to find some of the stuff that I wanted to talk about today, and it's AWOL, so that's a thing. Uh, but again, we'll talk about that at another time. And uh, I think that's really about it. Thank you guys for all the support again. I'm always constantly getting messages. Well, they're online, but they're off YouTube and off, um, off well, email, stuff like that. You know how it works. Uh, you know, supporting me, saying, hey, good to see your back, brother. Yeah, fully understand the kid thing. Thank you, guys. Fully understand the work thing. Thank you, guys. Um, and yeah, there are more videos coming. I really want to focus this winter. Uh, you'll be getting your bench questions back again. Different format, but the same format. There'll be two formats for it. 
Um, also parts, installation, stuff like that. I kind of got the bug to build again. Um, I've even, oh, that's another thing. I've even ordered in some scale Tamiya model kits. Uh, Vince McLaughlin, the other, the other man behind the scenes for, uh, for scalefreak.com, he has been a, a scale modder builder, model builder for a very long time. And, and he really kind of, he's been showing me some things that are just blowing my mind and I've been really looking forward to trying to get to something like that. And just this past uh, week or so, I actually ordered, um, I ordered a kit from Japan to come in, uh, a Honda S2000. He told me that it's actually a very, very easy beginner's kit. It can be as, as easy or as medium hard as you make it. So I'm kind of looking forward to getting that one done. Uh, it's interestingly enough, as much as I love to support local, I, I mean, I really do love to support local, uh, but that kit shipped from Japan directly to my house, including customs, will cost less than if I were to go to the store before taxes and buy it. So as much as I do want to support the local scene, uh, I would have to order it, I would have to pay for it, I would have to wait for it, and I would have to pay significantly more than just hopping online and having it sent over. Plus the, the stuff you can get from Japan, there's a lot of collector stuff that you cannot get from a store anymore. Somebody had them sitting in a back room somewhere, they put them online, and whoosh, you can get them brought to North America. So, from what I understand, it seems like it's a very cost-effective hobby to be a, uh, a scale builder, but Vince has already warned me about how extensive or how detailed this can get. And if you start to get to that detailed level, wow. Uh, some of the photo, um, the photo printed stuff, I, I've seen some little bits that you can get for like the Ferrari kits, where the Ferrari kit may cost you 50 bucks, but the, the, the sheets of the, the photo printed stuff will cost you a hundred and a half for a sheet. Wow! But, you know, whatever. If it's something that I can do to kind of calm myself and bring myself to a center when I'm having a bad day and I just get to sit down and build some cool cars, I'm all for it. Um, if I can figure out <laughs> if I'm any good at it, I'll probably do a video. Um, it seems like something fun to do during the winter. I know Vince has done, uh, many of you may not know that scalefreak.com actually started as a model building site. That's was one of Vince's projects back when he first started it. And uh, through the transition, and then him and I getting together, we moved it to more of a, of a all scale. So it could be scale modeling, scale drift, scale uh, uh, scaling, scale trucks, um, things like that. So. I guess maybe if I went to the dentist, we could do the scaling of the teeth. I, I, I'm digging. Uh, so that's it, guys. I'm going to end it now. Uh, so that's it. Thank you very much. As always, 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 please remember that uh, that uh, like button is down around here somewhere. That subscribe button is up at the top somewhere. Of course, comment section, fill it up. Thank you guys for all the comments in there. If you have any questions about, or actually even better, even better. Uh, if you have anything about some of the stuff that I just talked about, the King Kong hooks, the shackles, the, the winches, stuff like that, I'd love to hear your advice. Before I do my video, uh, I learned my lesson on the Savic screwdriver um, about how I probably shouldn't have bought that thing. And I'm learning every time I use it that I probably should not have bought that thing. Uh, so I'm glad I ordered some new bits for my, my, uh, my uh, team associated tool because that thing that thing gets a high recommendation from me. Um, but if you'd like to, to comment on anything in here, give me some tips or maybe some things that I need to know before my install, I really appreciate it because when I'm doing new products, I'm winging it and I'm just giving you my opinion. That's really what it is. Okay, okay, that's it, we're done. Uh, thank you guys again. Oh, share, that was the last one that I forgot about. So please remember guys, I, I am not, I am not pounding. I am not destroying Facebook with my posts anymore with these videos. I'm really only putting it on a few places. And if you're seeing it, you're probably on one of those places. So please feel free to share this with other communities, other people that you feel may enjoy the video or uh, may like some of the stuff on my channel. Uh, and thank you. So have a great day, guys. And uh, well, that's it. I'm supposed to end the video with have a great day.